Pero stick to that. I appear right before you. By what? Elf magic. As is, I got my uh, hat right here. How we could actually make some ears grow. There we go. That's much better. Mm. This is going to my ear a little bit. There we go. Oh, look. Now I got the ears of the elf. So how to get these ears of the elf? I'll show you the 16 tricks that you could do for Christmas. So we welcome you all into our seventh installment. Where's this gonna be held? It's right in my merry place. I'll see you right there. Then by elf magic, I arrive just say right here, right in front of the jolly guy, Mr. St. Nick, Santa Claus. And here is where I'm going to read off our first trick on our installment seven. And that is the magic ball escape present magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here, I got this nice ball you'll see right here, and I got my present that you'll see just right here. I'm gonna actually just take off the present, the present lid. I'm gonna actually is just uh, pop this right into here. So you can see, it's just right there. It's gonna, just to get that cover like this, we're gonna actually make it escape from the a present. Watch this. You see? Watch. By magic, I make the ball do a great present escape. How is this one done? As it is, I'm about to reveal the elf secret to you right now. All you'll be needing for this is the, the ball escape magic trick. It has a case that looks like this. It's going to is put on some wrapping paper and some nice ribbon on it like this. It comes with a ball like that. It's like a disintegration uh, chamber. You're going to make it turn into a present in, in this one. What we want to do is have the lid on like that first and then show the ball like that so it's done take off the lid of the present and then place this into the entrance of that and as you place this on you're gonna actually twist it like this you're gonna place this and cover it like that ball is just down here ready to do the great ball present escape. Pick it up and then quickly fist the ball. So the, the present and all you gotta do open your fist and by magic the ball makes this great present escape. A, a very cool present master trick that you could do that would definitely make everyone feel very nice and holly jolly with this one. Give it up for the great ball present escape. Magic trick. And that right there is how you do the magic ball escape present magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number. Going to my sand to talk here. To our trick two. Right to you. And that is the great elf sneeze prank gag. Here's what this will elf sneeze like. Achoo! Hmm. Big bit bit a little too long.
<laughs> this is a very funny one. <laughs> Look at your faces, you're like, what happened there? <laughs> you're gonna sneeze and it turned out it was completely di different. Very stunning. As it is with Nut said, here is how it's done. It's a pretty clever one. A cool elf one that everyone can pull. Because all you'll be needing are just two things for this. One is a nice, merry looking tissue that looks just like this. And then you'll be needing is this duck clacker. <laughs> you're gonna blow onto this. What you want to do is you're gonna cover this in the tissue like that. This facing you. And you're gonna get like um the your nose like that. And about to sneeze. Hand out. Go for it, and then put it like this, and go. Make sure you cover your nose like this. As you do that, as you do that, a two like. <laughs> there will get a lot of people stunned, and you know, even to crack up as well too. It is a really clever um. Elf, a prank gag, very easy to do and very self working. So, all you be needing is a duck quacker and just a nice Mary issue to go with this. <laughs> there, we're gonna go smiling, full of chuckles, and full of laughter with that one as well, too. Going to pick up this spirits with that one. Now, you know how it sounds, go have fun with it this Christmas. And that right there is how you do the Great Elf Sneeze Prank Gag. Bring us down to our elf number three. Well, I'm well, the three. You got the right tree. Christmas tree. And that is the Holly Cane and Santa Hat Magic Trick. That is what this will look like. So here I got my... Uh, my little elf, elf hat here, and I got this candy cane. As it is, let's take the colors and strip this. You see the green and the red? How about we actually just do and give this a change up? But what? Elf magic! Of course. I just place this into the hat like that. Hey, that rhymes! How did that go again? Oh yeah! That hat! Anyways, we're going to do something magical with this. We're going to hold on to that cane and watch. And by magic, it completely changes. So how did I do? I, I, through this, this is a book reveal. The secrets behind this to you right now. All you'll need is a small set of hat. Turn into like an elf hat like this. Then you'll be needing are two different candy canes. One's a rainbow, and one is just a regular striped one with the green and red. What you want to do is going to pay attention to the the green here and the red and um cancel out the colors of the rainbow out of this one. And there we get the green green and red on this one. You're going to going to is place the one they want to change it into in the hat like this. Take the other candy cane and you're going to um go behind it like this. And then go in to the hat I'll pull out like that. That's all that you are doing. But what you want to do is you're going to say we're going to rule out the colors of the rainbow cane to only green and red. Okay, you're going to take a look first. Then you're going to actually go into 
this hold like this as you put it in like that. So go like this. Because you know losing that's going into the hat. You can wave your finger fingers over, or you can use a caddy cane as a cane wand. Over there, I pull out a caddy cane. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go over it like this and do the cane wand tap. You can also say the magic words, Merry Christmas. Tap the hat. Then place this down. And all I gotta do is just, just go in. After that's done. And then pull up. And then magic. Get it to this. I run out all those colors. Dad place it, pl places itself onto the king I see. That's the hair. According to Dukes and Vols, there's the uh, sweet sugar candy canes and of elf magic. With that one. And that right there is how you do the Jolly Cane and Santa Hat magic trick. Yeah, and from there we're going to get down to our trick. Okay, what rhymes with, what rhymes with door? Four. Trick four. And that is the Holly Jolly Sniffles trick gag. Here's what this will like. I just had to. Anyways, here it is. Oh, I got the sniffles. Ooh, I think I've been in those reindeer stalls for too long. The hay gives me itchy. Oh, there we go. That's much better. And what? Huh? My nose. What is that? The sniffles. Oh. I look like Rudolph the red nosed reindeer! Oh dear! Oh! Oh! That's much better! <laughs> I got to! So now this is done, as it is about to reveal the secrets. All you being for, for this is one, two, Two jolly things. One, a nice polka dot hanky. You can see, this is here. Nice and red with polka dots on it. A well, second item, I'll get by magic. A reindeer nose that has LEDs. Turns on by the switch. Like that, you're gonna first is turn this on. You're going to um, take your band off as it is. I'm going to actually. Um, hmm, I wonder if I take my, my hair off. I wonder if I lose my ears. Not a good thing. I got to do, do this quickly. Whoa. Don't worry. I'll get them back. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to is put this on just like this onto your nose. Just like this. And now, let me bring my ears back again as it was. Then I'm back down to my real ears. I need those elf ears again. Okay, no worries. I'll put the hat back on again. There we go. That's much better. <laughs> now I got my, ear, my, my ears back. Okay. Whew. Got the hanky of it now. Okay, so what we're going to do... Is it going to get the, the hanky and take the nose off of it like this? Now we can go. I got my sniffles. Ooh. Like hay, like you were in a hay for too long. Like if you were in a st stall for a deer. Oh. Got these sniffles. Place it on. And then let's go like this. Oh. Oh, there, yeah. That's much better. Go off, back stunned, like, oh, my nose is flashing, like, Rudolph, the red nose reindeer. Well, and then, and it says, 
oh dear, at the end of it. <laughs> there, it'll definitely get someone to crack up uh, with that one as well too. Cool, only could do. Another elf magic trick for, for you and for everyone. And there, it will definitely bring the light. And there, Dragson with this, as well as a good sense of Christmas humor. And that right there is how you do the Holly Jolly Sniffles trick gag. Then we're gonna get to our present number five. This one here gets a little bit tricky with this one. Because this one here is going to is use a present and talk it, it into it just like an elf. With the trick I like to call the little talky present. Joke gag. Here's what this will look like. Wait, so I wonder what's inside here. Looks like you can actually go in. I'm gonna actually get a, a present from this right there. Watch this. There we go. Okay, how about we can actually talk to the present? But first, let's read the label first. Who is it to and who is it from? It is to Tom from Jan. As it reads us right here. As is, we're going to actually be like an elf and do some elf magic over it. Okay, watch this. This is me, the half of your most favorite. I'll be real. Wish you a Merry Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I got you with, with this one, a cool one. Because, as it is, I'm about to reveal that one to you right now. It's a very great elf one that we're going to get into. Here's the ins and outs. Okay, so this present is not a real pre is not a real present. It has a voice changer right here that's wrapped into present wrapping with the label and the nice gold ribbon. You see, that's right here. Make it official. Put some fake names onto a label, and you get to go. You're going to have to tape this into the, the, the size of the handheld voice changer. What you want to do is going to turn it on like this, all the way. And then change your voice. It sounds like a robot, because it is a robot. What you want to do is going to press the down button here as you talk. Hi, you. This is me. This is me. This is me. This is me. So that way you get ready to sound like an an elf as you talk into the present, going outward. Keep this facing you, like this. But first, I don't pay attention to the present, and then talk into here. This is the head elf, just like that. This is the head elf on the North Pole. Like that. So you're going to talk at it like this, looking right at them. Get the presents and then talk into it like this. After waving your fingers over or the use of a candy cane for a wand. That's all too. Which is what I pull from, from the thin air again. If you want to enchant it and use the cane, I'm give it the cane tap. It's done. Talk, talk into it, and go. Hello, everyone out there. I hope you have a happy and safe Christmas. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. There, you sound like the elf talking. Um, after um, you um, talking normal. Once the present greets, then you you end up talking like an elf by the use of. Just a regular Christmas present. There, it gets more elf magic with that one. And that right there is how you do to little talky present joke gag. There, we definitely crack up 
So someone with that, as well as Burl Salt laughing with that one as well, too. There, brings some more light within that one as well, too. Again, great humor will definitely help pick up everyone's spirits as well, too. Anyways, with that said, that's how it is done. And now we can get down to our trick number six. Goes into another elf one, and that is the elf snap bracelet trick gag. Here's what this bracelet will snap like. Here, I got a... So how'd I get that to do that? But it's snapping out of my fingers and the wave of my fingers as it is about to reveal the secrets. All you need is one thing that lights up. It is the bracelet of it all. And that is what you'll see here. This in here has LEDs built on the inside, as you can see in the, uh, the casing of the bracelet. I'm going to is put on a sticker of an elf or a Santa. You see, just right here. It says Santa and the music that's got about a guy. Then it's kind of down a little bit there. There we go, that's much better. Oh, I said that music got louder. Did you hear that? Isn't that cool? Anyways, I'll show you the rest. You know, the switch, be careful not to talk or it'll be this because it's actually. Sound activated. You know, hold it like this. Do not, do not, do not talk at all. Be silent as you are doing this, or you'll be doing that. Set the fingers, and it'll work. Just like that, and get the magic from the elf to control the bracelet and to have it do a merry green light show. Or you can snap, or you can, or or you can blow on it. One or the two. It's up to you. Like that, because the wind also is sound, and that too will light this up. Very easy, very simple to do. No prep is required. It's pretty straightforward. And that right there is how you do the Elf Snap Bracelet Trick Gag. Bring us down to our trick number seven, and that is the Magic Note Cane Picture Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. Okay, so here I got my my uh, my uh, little pad here. Okay, you can see you can see this. I got a picture of a cane here. I'm gonna actually make it into the real one. Watch. So my, my fingers. Now it's in 3D. Now if I just can just uh, go in. Watch. So it's gonna actually. Get it right out. How's this one done? As it is about to reveal the secrets behind this to you right now. All you'll be needing is a cane notepad. You'll see just right here. You'll be needing is um, a cannon cane with the green and the red. Cannon cane notepad comes into a pack of the others. Want to get the same as on a sticker. And one more, the same as the other one, that'll go and be your 3D part of the picture, like this. What you want to do is going to create a pocket for this cane in the back of it, like this. Make sure 
that is going the same direction as the cane's stomach upward, like this. And so off it like this. So the pad. Hide this down like this. So sew the sticker first. Bring it down, pick it up, and sew the 3D one. Three sentiments. Then after that, put it back down again. And then you're going to just reach into the back like this. And um, pull out the cane like this. By magic extracting the cane after you see, and so the sticker goes into the 3D cane, and then from there, you'll pull out the picture. And it's out in the fall, that they can take a look at the cane as well too. If you have a duplicate one of these, you can take that, so that they can inspect the pad, as well as take a look at the results. The cane, in your fingers, like this. And that right there, so you do the magic note cane picture magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number eight. Don't be late for this one, because after it, I'll be doing the revealing. Now, here's the trick which I like to call the appearing ball cane magic trick. Here's what this will look like. You see here, I got my cane here. We'll just watch this and just, just use this, uh, this cane here. You can actually just uh, get a ball to magically appear. Watch. By magic, I make it appear in my hand. How's this one done? As is, but to reveal the secrets. All you'll be needing is a candy cane and a candy cane looking ball, you'll see. Just here. What you want to do in starting with the magic trick is concealing the ball into your hand and held the, uh, the uh, candy cane like this. All you gotta do is you're gonna pass the ball as you cut the candy cane like this. So your hand empty, point with the cane, transfer again, like that. That we can show this hand uh, clear as well too. Then you're going to rep repeat that like this. Pull out the can like this. Use the one that looks like the wand here and do the wave. Boom. Tap into your palm and simply opening your fist and making the ball appear by the use of a candy cane. A very sweet magic trick you could do for Christmas. Give it out for the cane, the magic cane appearing ball. Magic trick. And that right there is so how you do the appearing ball cane magic trick. Bring us down to our trick number nine, and that is the cane penetrating coin penetrator magic trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got my uh, coin right here. Next red coin. I got my uh, cane, and I got this present right here. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to is place the coin in this slit right here, all the way inside, like that. I'm going to just use this cane and just go in like this. Watch the bottom, guys. Watch the bottom. Can I actually just pass this right through the coin. There we go, right there. Look. Let's throw, let's throw it into it, guys. <coughs> okay, gonna just take it out, the cane. Okay, right, just like that. And just kind of go out like that. And then take out the coin. How's this done? This is about to reveal the secrets. All you need is a red chip as a coin, big, a candy cane, and a present. This present actually is gimmicked in a way they can actually put the uh, cane in the hole like this. The coin 
just sits in like this. That's all there is to it. It's um well measured in order to actually get the penetration of the coin down. That's what I want to do is place the red coin into the slit. Just like this. Not all the way, but, but that way there. Cause you want it to um stay clear over so that it'll give a channel away for the cane to fit right through. Get the cane and just drill gently down. Hold the coin too. And the cane will come out of the hole to the bottom and end up like this. There, the cane penetrates the coin like that. You can show, you can show the, the bottom and the top like that. Just done. Just twist it like this. Take it out. Key inside. All I gotta do is after pull out the, the coin like that. And so the coin is unharmed after being penetrated by a small candy cane. And that right there, so you do the cane penetrating coin penetrator magic trick. Bring us right on to our trick number 11. And that is the magic ginger. I tricked you. This is, I'm an elf. Is it gonna tell by the ears that I tricked you with that one? One number? Because I tricked you with the number there. Very tricky. Okay, as it is. You got a number? 10. And that is the trick which I'd like to call the great elf's magic wand. Wand touch magic trick. Is what this will wand like. Green to the tricks table here. Get me off here. I get that. I'm gonna actually use this wand here. Let's give this a touch. Get the uh, elf touch in here. Whoa. Are you getting that, guys? Can you get that magic built on the inside again? Like that. Okay, so I got the one magic inside here. Watch. Let's move this. Watch. Look, look me here. Wrap it around. And give it the touch that it needs. So how do I do this? This is about to reveal the secrets. All you need is a vintage elf. You see right here. Now the wands are actually made out of um, straw. Going to put some ribbon, green, and gold. This is actually glued onto the elf. Then something like a little candy base. This is actually itself gonna actually is get friction built on the inside. It's all into friction on how this goes. And I'm going to rub the wand on the elf like this as well to get that, that charge built in the inside. And then I just hold on to the elf and then just simply go up to it very carefully. And like to make it move. Like this. So it's a static that's making the wand move. Like that. And there you get more elf magic. With this is involves the elf magic wands. The two of them. And that right there so you you do the Great Elf's Magic Wand Touch Magic Trick. Bring us right down to our trick number 11, and that is the Magic Ginger Bear Magic Trick. Is what this will look like. So I just got this ginger bear here. I'm actually just going to give this a rub to the uh, bear. I'm actually going to see me 
Driving back here, it was in pretty mask hole with this guys, and I'm gonna actually get get to. Do some elf magic with this. Watch. Yes, I got the magic in there. Okay. Just gonna grab a little bit more. Cause you can actually just go. This can actually get it. Cause I know some magic. Wow. All that rubbing provided lots of magic. Coming from, yeah, you can see? Starting to steam. I mean, those are just, uh, just uh, kind of rubbing back here. And they'll produce even more. Do you see that, guys? Whoa. What are you getting at? So how to get this ginger bear to, to do that? As it is, I'm about to reveal the secrets. Here, we're definitely the magic in the inside. Because it's really hard to get a ginger bear to actually produce that smoke. That's why it took me a little bit of time there. But we got the magic rubbed inside the really good. It decided to give us a smoke show. Okay, now. Here's what you'll be needing to make this happen. What you'll be needing is a ginger bear. This is actually a fake ginger bear. And then you need to get that, that, that stuff to come out of it, which is an old one that, that mystics do. As it is, Elves of Christmas are mystical, which makes this a really, really epic one. Because the next thing you'll be needing is mystic smoke for this one. And that is what you'll see right here. This is the tube of mystic smoke. And you can get so you pick up your local magic shop. All you gotta do is simply put it onto the bear. Like this. On a fake one. Like that. You can also, like, you can actually rub it in. And then just use your thumb and pull it up like this. You're gonna hold the bear. Go on to here. And just rub like this. Rub. And you want to like hold it so that we can easily go like this. In the back like this. Like this, see? You have it on here. And it will produce the smoke from it. But also, just want to hold on to it and just go out like this. You see? You see that there's uh, stuff coming out of it. Like this. You want to throw your thumb out like this. That way you can get the clouds of uh, it coming out of the bear. The ginger bear can see. Now it's starting to come out a little bit more. Like that. That's all that's it. And that right there is how you do the magic ginger bear magic trick.
Then we get down to our 12th one, and that is the Magic Ribbon Blando Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. So here I got these and got my uh, white. Here I'm going to just stick this into my hand just like this. This bunch it up just like that. And I'll just put this in like this. Okay, so we got that in. Now I'm going to go for the green. Put it in there. And then the last, the red. Into here as well, too. That you can see. I'm actually just, just to take this, watch this, and magically I put them together and have them to link. How's the sun? So this is done right now. All you'll need them is just some thumb tip and the same cuts of ribbon. What you want to do is you're going to is get one that's attached and just fall up like that, and then put your thumb tip in like just like that. And proceed to put in these in random the red, the white, and the green. Like this. Can you start moving them in just like this? Make sure you get it all in. Like that. Put your thumb tip on, ball it up, and simply just open it up like that. And by magic, they bend together and link together. As you see, just here. And that right there is how you do the magic ribbon blando magic trick. Then we get down to our next trick, which is our 13th trick, and that is the magic Santi cane hat magic trick. Is what this will look like. So I got my hat here, and got my cane here. Let's place it into the hat, just like that. Then I'm going to, is going to actually, watch this, I'm going to actually just take it right out of the hat. How's the sun? So this is done right now. All I need is a Santa hat and one candy cane. All I gotta do is place a candy cane, cane just like that. I guess if it was gonna go in like this. So put it in, hold, and go up front and extract it just like that. Very easy, very self working. Cool cane master trick and Santa hat on as well too. And that right there is how you do the Magic Santi Cane Hat Magic Trick. Then we're going to get down to our trick number 14, and it is the, jo the Jolly Magic Sugar Elf Wand Magic Trick. Is what this will look like. See this wand here? Wow, it's just going to actually go... Get right to my head. How's this done? So this is done right now. All you'll need is this candy wand. Some nice little candy like labels on it. And monument taped onto it. All you gotta do is put it into your hand just like this. Let go and have it go back. Make sure it's up straight as you are doing that. Like that. Get it right back into your hand. A very quick and easy one that you, one that you can do. And that right there is how you do the Jolly Magic Sugar Elf Wand Magic Trick. To our 15th one and that is the Vanishing Crystal Tube Santa Magic Trick. Here's what this will look like. Take your Santa, place it into a tube like that. So you're gonna see that this Santa here. We can actually just completely just make this completely vanish. Watch. By magic, I make a vanish. How's the sun? I'll show you right now. All you need is a cylinder and a Santa. All you gotta do is go to hold your silk, place it in the inside like this. So come up here, reach your hand in very quickly like this, and simply Move it away by going like this, rising above, and just going like that. Make sure that this is covering, making a vash. This now goes into your lap. There, you gotta send the vash just from this. And that there, definitely put the words ho 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 within that one. And that right there is how you do the vanishing crystal tube Santa magic trick. Then we get down to our last one, to our 16th one, and that is the Magic Santa Pop Bucket Trick. Here's what this will look like. See this? Watch. Whoa. From popcorn into pop popcorn wreath uh, garland. How's this done? I'm about to reveal the secret behind this to you right now. All you'll be needing 
is a Santa bucket that looks just like this. And what you'll need to make yourself is a well-known popcorn garland. This took me quite a bit of time to make this. See? Popcorn made into this by thread and needle. Be careful, the needle is sharp. Other supervision is required. All you gotta do is just preload this in, just like this. The strand, that way it looks like a huge tub of popcorn. Just like that, very simple to preload. Make sure the end stays on top so you can hold on to this as you drop down. So the popcorn, go out and, whew, and I'm doing that. Pull out, that magic, it turns into a popcorn garland. And there you go, all 16 tricks. I'll see you back for our eighth one very quickly. So it's done. Just throw this around your neck. Just like this. I'm off here. Like that.